Hi everyone, welcome to this week's weekly vlog. It seems like ages and ages since I've spoken to you all. How is everybody? I hope you're all well. It's quite warm this afternoon and I'm just I'm just doing some cleaning actually and I thought I would um, just have a little catch up. As you know, my family have been here, which has been fab. I've had such a nice time, so grateful to get to spend time with them. And I haven't done a great deal of vlogging, I have to say, but I am going to show you now a little bit of what we've been up to. We hired a car, which actually, the one we got originally, they upgraded us and then the indicator wouldn't work. So we had to take it back and get another one which was the one we'd originally booked. So although in the in the clip I say it's a Dacia, I, I don't know how to say that, we ended up with a, a Fiat Panda, which we were quite happy with. We like Fiat Pandas. Um, and we've had lots of adventures. I've really enjoyed it. I'm very grateful that we could hire a car and get out and about. The weather's been fab. It's, um, yeah, it's it's been great. I also feel very lucky and very spoiled because they bought me lots of nice presents and I will show you some of those probably in next week's vlogs because I'm just not going to have time to do that. I've also got a couple of weeks worth of weigh-in updates for you so I'll do that at the end but for now here's a few of our adventures. Look where we are, look we're in a car, we've got a car but <laughs> Don't get too excited. It's just for the week. We've hired a car because my mum's coming tomorrow. I think I said all this already. And yeah, we've got a car. What is it called? Dacia something D or other. Dacia Duster. I'm not sure if it's the Duster. Well, it says Duster there. Oh, okay. But I don't know if that's what I the know, make no, is. No. I don't well, know. I'll it's a, argue with you. It's a car, isn't <laughs> it? Um, so we were not expecting this because we actually booked a Fiat Panda because that's what we always drive <laughs> so this thing feels massive and also we're not really used to the new cars because you know we we don't buy new cars normally no. do we so you don't even start them with a key these days who knew and I know I'm really late to the party with all this but <laughs> we've got like a telly thing at the front <laughs> uh, yeah anyway so we just a little test drive and we've ended up at Grand Tarahau which is one of my favorite places we're gonna go and just have a cuppa and a little walk and then we need to go and do some shopping because I don't want my mum to go hungry while she's here Guess who's here? Look, say hello. Good morning. <laughs> she's here, <laughs> hooray, finally. Well, actually, she's been here already for 24 hours, haven't you? I have indeed. We had a nice barbecue yesterday with Auntie Sue as well, so everybody's here. Perfectly cooked. Perfectly cooked by Martin and Christopher. Oh, yes. Compliments <laughs> to the chef. Yes. <laughs> but today we are going to walk. We're at the Atlantico. We're going to walk to the White Centre and then have a coffee. And then we're all going to get in our cars, hire a car for us, and go for and explore around the island. What if you don't get on that, whatever. <laughs> I've got tea. You even get a little biscuit. Mum, have a ride. Auntie Sue's here. Say hello, Auntie Hello. Sue. Hello. hello. Sheila. Oh, hello. Good morning. It's a bit too windy. <laughs> Lovely. We're, we're up.
We're in Las Playitas this morning. Hello, Mum. Good morning, Emma. I see you. There you are. How are you liking Las Playitas? I rather like Las Playitas. It's nice, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Although we are standing in the middle of the road. No, I like it. The housing, the houses are lovely. It's a They're great cute. Beauty. Yeah, anyway, we're going to have a walk and a coffee and then we're going to go meet the others at Costa Karma. So I'll show you a little bit of Las Playitas. We got an ice cream from there last time we were here. We had a really good walk around Las Playitas. It's a lovely little place. We walked all the way along to the other end and we stopped for a while and we were watching the people in the sports hotel doing their aerobic exercises. It made me tired just watching them. But yeah, we had a really good walk and we stopped off for a little treat, which was delicious. And then we went and met Auntie Sue at Costa Karma Beach and we all had a swim, which was just gorgeous. Really weird though, because there was no waves. Well, only tiny ones. But yeah, the water was clear, the sand was lovely. We had a walk along and we had a swim. Another day, we had a lunch here. This is our favourite restaurant. Well, mine and Martin's favourite restaurant. Absolutely divine. Another day, we went for a wander around in Antigua, just quickly. And then we carried on to El Cotillo. Did Had a nice drive over to Cotillo, where we, again, we met up with Auntie Sue and, and John and Chris. We had a picnic sitting in the boat right out on the headland there, which overlooks both the old harbour and the new harbour. Highly recommend that for a, a viewing spot. And then again, we had a long walk round and Chris went and had a swim in the lagoons. I've got my cup of mint tea. I'm not sure whether it's going to be too windy out here. You might have to go in the kitchen cupboard. My mum's happy now because she's seen the kitchen cupboard that I put you in to chat to. Um, so I've got my mint tea. I decided the week before they all came over that I was going to eat slightly differently again. You know me, I change things up if things are not quite working. And as with a lot of us that are on sort of weight loss things, we often tend to go back, I think, to Slimming World. Because at the end of the day, it's although it has all its faults and we all, we all know them, we've spoken about them, the general sort of gist of it is actually very good. I don't think I will ever sort of follow Slimming World 100% because it's it's too rigid for me now. I feel like I've learned enough over the years that I can take the bits from it that I need to and you know I know what high sin foods are and I know I shouldn't be eating loads and loads of them but I know I can enjoy an occasional treat. I also think that with Slimming World, the, the way it works best and the way it's supposed to work is the idea that you have, that they call them speed foods, but effectively it's fruit and ve low calorie fruit and vegetables. And you're supposed to remove a third of the food that you would normally put on the plate and replace it with these foods. There's There's a bit of a misconception, I think, sometimes on people that do Slimming World that you can have massive platefuls of like pasta and rice and then have a satsuma on the side for speed but that's not in my mind anyway that's not really how it works it's the fact that you're taking away some of that higher calorie food and replacing it with the lower calorie food and for me this works really well for two reasons obviously it fills me up but without lots of high calorie. And also for me, it slows me down because very often I will, you know, have salad or crunchy veg or whatever, and it slows down my eating a bit. And then I don't tend to eat so much. I'm quite a fast eater. I'm quite greedy. I gobble it down and yeah. Um, so I, that's what I decided to do. The other thing for me, and it always has been, sadly, bread. I love bread, but it doesn't love me. Um, so I, I decided, yeah, the week before 
everybody came over that I was just going to give the sort of slimming worldy type way of eating a go and I have carried that on whilst the family are here because again I do find and I did used to find when I was doing Slimming World it's very easy to eat out you know when you're doing Slimming World there's loads of things that you can have and I thought yeah I'll do this we've had loads of meals out actually over the last couple of weeks which I've really really enjoyed and I have had a few treats to be fair but I have also been quite sensible and felt quite in control and I have also done loads of walking and loads of swimming which again has helped but anyway let me stop rambling on and tell you about these two weigh-ins so I have got weigh-in tomorrow so that's going to be in the next vlog but the last two so the last time I showed you was the 6th of September and I'd actually put on two pounds, which is why I thought, come on Emma, you need to shake things up a bit. This is not going well. So on the 13th of September, I lost four pounds and I was down to 14.1. And then last week I was delighted and quite surprised because believe you me, I've had, we've been to the Chinese what else have we we've had lunch out, we've had barbecues, but again I've been really sensible and I've really tried to eat to like at the barbecue for it. Well let me just quickly tell you this. So I lost another three pounds. So that's uh thirteen stone twelve now. But when I used to do Slimming World, whenever I was dishing up my food, I would always dish up the vegetables first and make sure that was like the main well not the main but like at least a third or half of my meal so I've been trying to do that like when we had the barbecue I I made sure I had lots of salad on my plate first tomatoes made sure we uh, we grilled some courgettes had those on my plate then I went for like the protein sort of stuff and then a few potatoes or a little bit of coleslaw or, you know that kind of the more sinny type stuff and I didn't have a burger because I didn't want the bread roll. I could have just had a burger on its own, but I thought, no, because then I'll want a bread roll. And it was divine. I had kebab made with chicken, I think it was. So I didn't go hungry and I really enjoyed it. But I am so pleased, let me tell you. I'm really, really pleased. Um, we are going out for dinner tomorrow night because it's Chris's birthday. Um, and then it is way in the next day so I'm not sure how I will do um, this time but it's definitely going in the right direction again and because we have got a really busy time the next few months to be fair coming up I think I'm going to continue this and see how I get on I'm annoyed that I didn't film any of the food I, I literally haven't filmed any food at all which is really unlike me because as you know you're normally seeing a lot of the stuff that I'm eating but um, I will start again next week trying to film a few things it's my birthday next week as well so um, yeah but I've really when was it yesterday I went to Spanish and I knew we were going out in the evening, we were going for Chinese and I kind of decided what I was going to have at the Chinese because again you can have like sensible stuff which I did the week before when we went to the Chinese and I'd lost, I still lost three pounds but I said to myself my little sort of treat was going to be some coconut ice cream because they do a really nice coconut ice cream and I was going to have one scoop of that but when I got to Spanish class yesterday morning one of the one of my friends is leaving and she bought us all a donut and a big one of those big like chocolate chip cookies so she'd given them to us in a bag so I didn't even open them and they they were sat there on next to me all through the lesson I thought no don't start on them because um, you know you're going to have your ice cream later and I didn't I didn't eat them then later on in the afternoon we all went out for ice cream but I didn't have any and I, I was really pleased with myself because I could have so easily just thought oh you know I'll just 
start on the donut and then I'll have a second an ice cream in the afternoon and then by the evening I would have felt like I'd lost the plot so I feel like for the first time in a long time I'm in a good headspace with it and that is the key to this so yes hopefully we're going in the right direction I've rambled on for ages oh sorry just jog the table i've rambled on for ages i'm going to end the vlog now thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all next week bye